Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through downloading and installing the free version of Legacy Family Tree. And I'm going to navigate to Legacy Family Tree. Dot com. And on this page, you'll find this standard edition with a link here that says free download. Now, depending on when you view this video, you may find that this page changes. In fact, it's likely to, especially if you're listening to it a long time from when I create it. But just find the link on there for the standard edition free download and per click on that one time. Now that'll take you to a page right now, at least, that shows you the features that are in the free version versus the features that are in the deluxe version. And then here you can either select to download the free one or you can uh, choose to purchase the deluxe version. Here we're going to just click on download the free one. We're going to put in, we're going to populate this information. And once we have that populated, we'll click next step. And then we have a choice of downloading from one server to the next. And make special note that there's a section down here that says the password for installing is, in this case, it's Legacy 7. So I'm just going to select one of these guys right here. Now if you have Vista, there's another link for um, getting help for working with Vista and Legacy Family Tree. So in Mozilla, or in Firefox, I get this dialog button, or dialog box that, that asks me what I want to do with the file. I'm going to just click Save. Let that come down. All right, this download is nearly complete. I'm just going to clean up that list. Close that window and close out Firefox. And we'll see right here, I, I have Firefox configured to save things on my desktop so that I can easily deal with them once I'm done downloading. So I'm just going to double click on this Legacy 7 setup. It's going to give me a little warning box that I downloaded this from the internet, so I should be careful. I'm going to click the Run button. I'll choose my language for the installation, and that's going to be English. And then we get a little instructions that tell us to make sure that we don't have any other programs running, such, and here I do not, so I'm just going to click Next. The, pa the password was Legacy 7. Click Next. It asks us where we want to install the Legacy 7 program. Um, I actually don't want it going in my root directory. I want to put it under Program Files and then Legacy. So I'm just going to change that directory uh, and then click OK. So now you can see it's going in Program Files and then Legacy. You can put it wherever you want, of course. I'm going to click the Next button. Now it's going to copy the files over. All right. And there we go. We've installed it. Just click the Finish button when we're done. And we can see that, that um, Legacy Family Tree does something that I really don't appreciate and that is it installs shortcuts on my desktop without asking me whether I want to do that or not. So I'm going to be getting rid of those. Um, so anyway, we, it uh, gives us a choice for our language. Now this, unlike the other language choice, which was for the installation, this is the language choice for actually executing the program. So in, in this case, I'm in the US, so I'm going to pick United States English and press OK. And it's going to start up Legacy Family Tree and it has this nice little uh, guided startup wizard. So we're going to select, in this case since we downloaded the standard edition, we're going to go with the free standard edition legacy. And I don't want to do any of that stuff, so I'm just going to click the next step. And here we're going to choose our date format. I like the day, month, year format, so that's great. And then any numbers that we want to have displayed automatically after names, I'm just going to go with the default. And then the rule for generating default married names. And this default is to replace the wife's surname with the husband's surname. And then you can also choose don't generate married names. I'm going to leave it with the default. 
you can choose whether you want to display surnames in uppercase and you can choose whether you want LDS support. In my case, since I have some Mormons in my ancestry, I'm going to make sure that LDS support is on. And then we've got this internet connection method. And so this is uh, something that you will want to change if you don't have a full-time connection to the internet. So if you use a cable or DSL connection that's live all the time, you'll want this first selection. But if you dial up or your cable or your um, you have some kind of a connection that is intermittent that you have to set it up, then you'll want to check this next one. So that will only check the internet connection when you click on something. This one will do things whenever. Okay, and then we'll click the next step. And then here we tell it information about whether we want to uh, grab information from other applications. So here I can either select I'm just starting, my information's not in another computer program, or I want to import my information from another genealogy computer program, or open existing legacy family file, or open sample file that comes with legacy. So if you don't have your own data, you might want to open this sample file so that you can play around in there and get used to Legacy Family Tree Standard Edition. If you have another one, you would select this one. So I'm just going to click, I'm just starting, my information's not in another computer program, and click Next Step. And then here's some information Legacy Family Tree is going to ask for to help you get started. Now you can choose to not do this, and it'll just create an empty family file, and you can add people from there. So the other option that you have, and this is the default, is yes, please, I'll start by entering what I know. And so this is going to start with you. So if you populate it with your information, this will create that first record in your family file. So I'm just going to populate it with my information here really quickly so we can see what's in there. And this is... So I'm just going, now that I have my information populated in there, now I didn't I didn't add my father or my mother or my wife, I'm just going to keep this simple. Um, but you can do that, you can fill in a bunch of this information if you choose. Um, so just click finished when, you're, when you are finished, and it's going to ask for a place to save this data file. So right now it's defaulting to saving it in a, in a directory called data under your legacy file, into your legacy folder. I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to call this file sayer family and click save. And we get a little advertisement for the deluxe version of Legacy Family Tree. We can turn that off by clicking the don't show this message anymore and then close. And there we go. I've got Legacy Family Tree Standard Edition installed. I've added myself in a record, and you can just go from here and add people to your family history.